everybody. Uh, in here. It's cold today, and I have to clean out my stove. You can see there's ashes and stuff down there. That's for me just kind of half cleaning it out because it's been so cold lately. I don't want to shut it all the way down. Well, now it's to the point where I have to. It's so cold, and this has gone so long that I have to shut it down. And it usually takes about an hour before it cools down enough to where I can to where I can uh, handle the burn pot. But today I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to give it about a half an hour and 45 minutes and just wear gloves. And take the burn pot straight outside, dump it, dig it out, and bring it back in and start this thing right back up. Outside it is 13 degrees. It was 7. <laughs> And since the heater's been into cool down mode, it's dropped to 66 in here. So, uh, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned out and get him turned back on. Okay, so it's been about uh, 32 minutes or something like that. This thing is shut down all the way. Uh, got some gloves here. I know it's gonna be hot, and I know there's still gonna be some embers in there burning. <clears throat> gloves on real good here. Okay. I always open it slow because I don't know if you saw that down here, ashes kind of fall out, they pile up on the glass. Uh, I got a little metal bowl here. Yeah, and it's it's pretty full. So uh, I have a custom built tool. <laughs> it's a spoon for a scooper. And I'm just gonna scoop out the big chunks of ashes, put them in the bowl here. Uh, usually I do this without gloves on, but since I didn't let it cool down all the way, there's probably some hot stuff down in there, especially in the burn pot. Uh, just get the big parts of the ashes here first. Okay. okay, now the burn pot is right there. Grab him up out of there. You can see it's full, and a lot of that is clinkers. Where are we at? Okay. So if I dump it, you see there's still some stuff down in there. That's the minerals and stuff in the wood that doesn't burn. You can hear it's hard and crunchy. So I dig it out with my custom tool here. I'll drop it down in and I'm seeing there's a couple, couple glowing things down in there. Not really bad actually. I give it a good scrape so all those vent holes are are free. I scoot the ashes away from the hole. Work those back in. And make sure he locks back down in. The big thing to keep open is this. Where are we at? Okay, this right here. That's where the igniter comes through. It just glows really hot when the pellets drop down into it. So you gotta make sure that that is, uh, is clear. Now, I don't really need these gloves on anymore. I'm going to scoop up a couple handful, or not handfuls, spoonfuls of ashes from the sides. Now, these are like ash collectors on the side, just somewhere for the, well, the ashes to go. It blows air through. I better slow down, get a lot of fly ash. It blows air through the, the fresh pellets after they're dropped into the burn pot. And that's kind of what stokes the fire. That's what keeps it going. So the ashes blow up and out over on the sides. So it has to have room for the ashes to go. So I always dig it out a little bit. And uh, set the spoon down here. Another custom tool, old paintbrush. I'm gonna put the bowl right here under the lip, which is just out of camera shot there. Scoop off all of this. Get this good and cleaned up. And it does make a little bit of a mess, especially if you do it in a hurry like what I'm doing. Instead of letting everything cool down and using a vacuum to get in there. Uh, okay, now I'm going to show you uh, the door here. The door, this is glass. It doesn't look like it, but it is glass. Uh, first thing I do is get all the loose ashes off. that. I'm going to brush around once, 
collecting all of the stuff that's stuck on there and the glass is still fogged up I usually let it cool down a lot more and I'll take a rag and spray like Windex on it and then wash the window since it's so hot I don't think I'm gonna mess with that and it's not a, necess or a necessity but I just need to get the heat back on in here before it starts getting colder uh, well, I probably can't see now, but around where the, the door closes, stuff builds up on here too, so I give it a good wipe down. And that's pretty much it. There's a little stuff on the outside, and the bowl is not hot, thankfully. So that's really all I'm going to do. Just uh, close him back up here. Make sure he's good and locked. And, I guess I'm going to start it now. Before I start it back up, I'm going to go ahead and fill the hopper. It's kind of low, I think you can see out of there. I have to get the bag open, I can't find my knife, so I have to rip it. Which is kind of a, kind of a crappy way of doing this. Now you're not faster and a cleaner cut. That's one. Oops, drop a piece. That's one 40 pound bag. Uh, this thing holds 120 pounds. Well, make sure the doors close good. And that's pretty much it. I'll push the on button. And then it's just going to do its thing. Well, it's restarted fine. I'm going to wait till the house blower kicks on. And, uh,. Then I'll know everything is okay, then I'll be able to uh, clean up all the ashes and stuff that spilled. And I'll, I've done that before and then it'll it'll flame out or something, you know, just something dumb that needs fixed. But uh, yeah, we dropped three degrees in the house in about an hour's time. Uh, maybe that give you an idea how cold it is outside. Now, we had a dusting of snow last night, so this is back on the grid, unfortunately, until I can get the panels cleaned off. Batteries were getting a little low. They were down to 12.3 this morning. So, uh, and there was only like 5 watts coming in out of 1,600 watts available. So, got to get the panels cleaned off. But that's pretty much it. Uh, this is by far the best way to keep warm for the most efficient. I mean, uh, it's run off solar for the past, I don't know, few days at least. And, oh, let me show you here. Uh, that's all the ashes that come out of it. You see my hand for comparison? That's know, three days or whatever worth of ashes. Probably five bags because I run it up on... Uh, I run it a little bit harder than I normally do. So, alright everybody, there it is. Pellet stove, clean out, restart. On a very cold, bitter morning. Kind of wish I'd have cleaned that glass now, that'd be a better shot. <laughs> ah well, it's supposed to warm up in a couple days and rain, so I'll give it a good clean run. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching.